Hello everyone. Today the project that we're going to do is based on these teacups that I drew years ago when I was missing friends of mine that were living far away. So I got everyone to send me a photograph of a teacup that represented them, their character, and then I proceeded to paint them. But what I also did is I included words that I felt represented their personality and I added them to the different cups. So whenever I look at these teacups on my kitchen wall, I remember my special friends and what they mean to me in my life. And I hope you're going to enjoy the project and do the same. So what this is, is you get someone who's special to you to create a mug that symbolizes who they are and what their personality is and what they like. And so this one is my brother. And this is my mom. So for this project, you might choose to work on a canvas or a white sheet of paper, which then doesn't need any preparation work, or you might choose to work with an alternative surface. So here, if you look at these two little canvases I've prepared, I've taken fabric that I've glued onto a backing of masonite board with cold glue, wood glue or craft glue and then painted another layer over that and made a little canvas. If you don't have masonite board then you might want to just use a thicker piece of card to glue your fabric onto. So that's one option but for our, um, for our lesson today I've chosen tea boxes that the tea comes in and my favorite tea. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a layer of cold glue, craft or um, wood glue onto this using a brush, our cold glue and some water. So what you'll need to do is put a dollop of glue onto a little container and then you add some water so that it's not as viscous as it is now so that you thin it down a little bit there we go then you mix the two remember when the glue dries it's going to dry transparent so even if it looks white now you don't need to worry it won't remain white on your surface but it mustn't be too thick Okay, so let's do this. Just paint a layer over. We do this so that our paint has got a nice surface to cling onto. If we just paint onto the smooth surface of the box, then the paint doesn't have a grip. And then you give it um, about an hour, an hour and a half to dry, and then we can get started with our project. So if you don't have acrylic paints or you don't have watercolour paints then it's easy enough to do this challenge by just doing it on a white piece of paper with pencils or um, colour pencils and um, if you do have acrylics or watercolour then it is really nice to do it on an alternative surface like you're going to see now. You can do the whole arrangement or you can just do a detail of the arrangement as it fits onto your canvas. We're going to be drawing with, I'm drawing with a coloured pencil onto mine and we're just going to prepare, be preparing the outlines and then we're going to get stuck into the acrylic painting. Should we go for it? Uh -huh. So when you're working with acrylic um, compared to watercolour Acrylic is quite a um, messy medium to work with and the way that I like to work with it is I like to make my own little pellets out of old milk bottles and then I can throw the whole pellet away when I'm done. Once you've prepared your pellet then you're ready to start painting.
you love in the teacup challenge we did it in acrylic and you can do it in any medium you can even just do a pencil drawing if you want if you don't feel like painting but if you don't want to paint or draw it you can just take a photo and send and decorate your cup beautifully and send it to someone that's special to you mm -hmm. so that's it for today bye